Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. It's been a while since my last, my last upload with the S3. And I've done a few modifications since my last upload that I did not upload about or kind of tell anyone about unless you're following my car's Instagram page, which I'm gonna link in the bottom. So if you guys wanna keep up with what's going on more regularly, I'll post my Instagram in the description. Anyways, so in this video, I'm just gonna update you on the car, what I've done to the car, what I have coming next, what are the plans, and what's gonna be the next modification because it's right here on the floor and I can't wait to install it. I'm just waiting for one more piece to come in and then I'll be able to install it. And this car is gonna become even more fun to drive. So let's get into this video. All right, so the first modification is gonna be inside the car. It's the least exciting one, which is why I'm starting with this one. Anyways, it's this mount that I got for my phone. It's matte black, it looks decent, kind of fits in with the whole black dash and everything, and it's so convenient. I love it. I mean, I don't have to keep my phone under my crotch or, or anywhere just laying around. If you're going on a longer trip, you have your maps on, boom, slap it on here, charger wire right here, plug it in, and you're chilling. If you guys want me to link this product down below, let me know, I'll link it. It was really cheap, it looks good, it fits in, and I'm very happy about it. So yeah, that's the first modification. Now on to the second modification. I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to guess what I have done to the outside of the car. One, two, three, and if you guessed lowering springs or suspension, you are correct, because now this car sits way better, even with the wheels. If you guys seen or remember how my car looked before with these wheels, it looked like it looked like an F-150, literally an F-150. Now, you guys see the rear is like damn near tucked. The car sits way nicer. We have the H&R Super Sport Springs. I got them used. Got them for a a complete steal. Uh, I think I paid only like 200 bucks. The car, the car, it's not super stiff. I drive this car every day, and I put like 6,000 miles since New Year's. And probably with the springs, I put 1500 at least. It's not bad at all. I mean, I see why a lot of people are going with these H&R Super Sport Springs because they're not too stiff. They drop the car nice. I'm gonna put up before and after pictures of how the car looked and how the car looks now. It's a day and night difference. So yeah, thumbs up for this. Definitely recommend getting the H&R Super Sport Springs if you're considering it. Now for the third, third modification that I have done since my last video is going to be under the hood. And one, two, three, if you guessed it was the intake, you were 110% correct. I ended up going with the integrated engineering cold air intake, bought this piece used. I mean, with the turbo inlet, and the intake, I only paid like 275. I got a, the whole setup for pretty much half off. I love how this thing sounds. I mean, this thing makes some crazy, crazy, crazy noises compared to my TTS. When I had my TTS, I had the same intake, but it retained the same old intake box. It was just the cover and the filter. You would get a little bit of the you know intake sound, but with this open filter, man. It's, it's, it's really, it's really addict. Definitely recommend this. This one popped up in the area for a really good deal and I couldn't, I couldn't pass on it. I couldn't pass on it, so I bought it, installed it, installed it, went really smooth. Everything fits nice and clean. I'm gonna insert some clips of how the intake sounds. Definitely recommend, it sounds good. All their intakes, and I'm not planning to switch unless I go bigger turbo and I need to, but for now, this intake is gonna stay. And now the fourth modification to the car is also under the hood, or you could say under the car. The downpipe coming off the turbo does not look like the sock one, and that is because I got a high flow Ego X downpipe added on to the S3. I got it also for a steal. You might think, man, you're getting all these parts for a steal. Yes, because I wasn't rushing to get none of these parts. They also just popped up on Facebook Marketplace and I snatched them up. I probably saved quite a bit of money. I also saved quite a bit of money with the cop access port as well with the tunes. I'm running EQT tunes. Oh, I actually, I think I forgot to mention that as well. I don't have the cop access port plugged in, but I am stage two on i 3 with EQT. I'm waiting for their TrueFlex 
kit or tune to come out because the kit is already there by Cobb. But I'm waiting for the tune to come out so I can finally go full 85 and I'm probably gonna do MPI, haven't really decided yet. Might as well go straight to MPI rather than doing the high pressure fuel pump. I think that's gonna be the way to go. Back to the downpipe. It's a high flow downpipe and it sounds, it sounds okay. I installed the downpipe with uh, the stock exhaust and there was not much of a difference. I actually did not like it, but I got it for a sale. I only bought it for like 200 bucks or 175 for the downpipe. And they usually, that downpipe retails for like 800, 900 bucks. So that was a, that was a really nice deal. Just had to weld this little adapter on for it to make it fit with the stock exhaust, which was no big, we got that done. Well, so I'm gonna include a few sound clips because on the exhaust, we also got a resonator leak. Once I got the downpipe, there was not enough sound. So I was like, you know what? Let's go with the resonator delete. I don't want to invest into a cat back yet. I don't know how it's going to be, how loud it's going to be with the resonator delete. So I got the resonator deleted with the ECS one, and I'm going to include a few sound clips. <laughs> the outside it sounds good it sounds good but the thing is the high flow downpipe is very restrictive we all know that I would me personally I wouldn't buy a new one for the reason being it's restrictive and it's super expensive that downpipe is coming off soon and we are replacing that downpipe with the track slag four inch downpipe that I just picked up can't wait to put this put this thing on and see how this car finally gets to breathe and how it's gonna sound i'm just waiting for uh the little adapter to two and a half inch uh, exhaust pipe because that's what my stock exhaust is so i just ordered that one yesterday from i think they shipped these from england so hopefully it comes in this week and i'm able to install this next weekend because i want more sound and i want the car to finally breathe and drive better. I'm also assuming that with this downpipe, with this Catalyst four inch downpipe, we're gonna make a little bit more power. I've heard people say they make a little bit more power. The throttle is more responsive. And a lot of people say this is the best downpipe for the MQB platform. So yeah, I'm excited. The car has finally started to come along. You know, the next modification that's gonna be on the car are some wheels. Right now we're still rocking the winters. I'm trying, I'm trying to find some U, a used set of wheels but nothing is there at the moment and i feel like I'm, if i if if i do get lucky something is going to pop up before the season but the summer is coming up i might just need to invest into a new set I'm stuck in between going either 19s or 18s of course 18s are going to be more comfortable with a little bit more sidewall compared uh compared to, to to 19s but 19s do look do look way better so i don't know what do you guys think? Give me some recommendations on what wheels should I go with? Because I want to keep the silver. Uh, I don't want to go black. I'm down to go gunmetal, silver, or maybe maybe bronze. But I'm not going black. I mean, if I have to, if I have a set of wheels for a great deal, get placed on the marketplace that are all black, and I can't pass up on a deal, I might pull the trigger. Don't know what I'm going to do with the chrome. I nice. So my camera's... SD card ran out of space. We're back at it. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with the Chrome just yet. I'm thinking of going with the RS grill, blacking out the the lower grills, the small grills. Probably leaving the Chrome around the windows for the trim, going with some black mirror caps, and then getting a little black spoiler and a diffuser. So that's that's the plan for now e85 next big turbo maybe we'll see if i get bored of the e85 uh e85 power i don't know yet we're kind of just taking it day by day and seeing where this takes me because like i said i buy a lot of these parts used i buy i haven't bought anything new except for the resonator delete and so this is kind of becoming a budget build i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it 
Can't wait to make a little bit more power, get some new wheels, and get ready for the summer. Okay, so I remember there is a modification that we can do in this video. It's a small one, but it's really gonna change the rear of the car. And the modification that I'm talking about is the dealer license plate bracket. So let's remove it in one, two, three. Boom, and it looks so much cleaner now without the bracket. Because I don't want to represent that dealership. I do not want to represent that dealership. I might get into that in another video. Maybe someday. Someday I'm going to talk about that dealership. But anyways, I regret rocking that license plate bracket for so long. But now it kind of looks naked. Now the back of the car kind of looks naked. And we do need some. We do need some kind of license plate bracket. So if anyone, if anyone wants to sponsor the car, it's open. The advertisement, the advertisement slot is open. My DMs are open. Hit me up. Let's collab. Let's make something. Let's let's make this car great. Let's make this, let's make this the fastest MQB in Illinois. So yeah, this is the update on the car. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next video is going to be the install on the Catalyst tracks like downpipe, which I'm super 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 excited about. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please, if you guys like my videos, subscribe. Let's get to a thousand subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.